Welcome to Positive Effect. I'm Prajwal. And I'm Jacob. And today we're going to jump into our 2020 holiday gift guide. Now, you might know somebody who is really passionate about magic, but you might not know what to get them for this upcoming holiday season. We're hoping that this video is going to provide you some great ideas for gifts that will withstand the test of time. Now, we've compiled a lot of different ideas into different categories and listed them in the description down below, along with a link for where to buy them as well as their MSRP. And note that even though we've included links and prices for all the products throughout the course of this video that we're going to be talking about, first off, this is all as of the time that we've shot this video and of course those prices and that availability is subject to change over time. The other thing you'll notice is that there are some items for which we haven't included prices or additional information simply because they're only items that are really available on the secondary market currently and you'd really just go chase those down independently if you were looking for something really special to help somebody build out a collection. And with that said, let's jump right into it. All right, so the first category we're going to start off with is books. And look, we get it. It's 2020. Everything's digital now. But to be honest, we think books are still one of the best ways you can learn magic. Not only that, it's one of the best bang for buck options, just given the amount of information you get per dollar spent. So we're going to give you some ideas for magic books across all different categories. Our first category is comprehensive general magic. And these books contain a little bit of everything, all different forms of magic from close up to mentalism to parlor. And they're designed to get somebody from a beginner level to an intermediate level and maybe even to an expert level of magic. Our recommendations here are the Mark Wilson Complete Course in Magic, a single volume that contains a lot of information, and the Tarbell Course in Magic, an eight volume set. So the next category of books we're going to talk about is books all about card magic, which is obviously a really popular genre within magic. Now, a couple of the books we recommend here are The Royal Road to Card Magic by Hugh Garden Browie, which is probably the definitive introduction to card magic, as well as its slightly more advanced cousin, Expert Card Technique by the same authors. We also recommend any and all volumes of Roberto Giobi's Card College, one through five, whichever you can get your hands on. And finally, Mnemonica by Juan Tamariz, which is a book that deals with a pretty specific technique that's really only suitable to advanced card magicians. Two other really popular forms of magic are coin magic and mentalism. For coin magic, we recommend a classic in the field, Modern Coin Magic by J.B. Bobo. This has loads of resources for taking somebody from a beginner coin magician to an expert. For mentalism, we have 13 Steps to Mentalism by Tony Corinda, a book that is a must-have in the library of any mentalist. There's also a small group of specialized magic books written by icons in the industry that contain a mix of theory and original effects across different types of magic. A couple really good examples of these would be Constant Fooling, Volumes 1 and 2 by David David Regal, and Art of Astonishment Volumes 1 through 3 by Paul Harris. Our next couple of books don't contain any tricks in them, but are instead written to promote magic and performance theory. Theory is really important for magicians of all skill levels in order to grow and improve as performers of magic. The best of the breed are Jay Sankey's Beyond Secrets and Strong Magic by Darwin Ortiz. Now this very last group of books also doesn't contain any magic specific tutorials. Instead, these are books that are focused on the psychology, history, and culture of magic. A few of these are Magic is Dead, Hiding the Elephant, Slights of Mind, and Fooling Houdini. And these are great reads for anyone, not just magicians. Of course, there's plenty of great instruction available in digital video as well. But rather than try to pinpoint a specific trick, uh, one option that we recommend is to just get someone a subscription to Magic Stream, Illusionist's online magic streaming platform with dozens of effects available. Video lectures are another form of digital instruction that have gotten really popular in recent years and for good reason. During these virtual sessions, prominent magicians spend a couple hours demonstrating and teaching some of their favorite original material. A couple of lectures that we really recommend are David Williamson, Danny D. Ortiz, and Rocco Solano. If you don't want to buy something on the instructional side of magic, another great option would be to buy playing cards. Over the last 10 years, magicians, cardists, and collectors have placed an enormous amount of value on unique playing card design. It might be a little hard to understand, but from that sense, it's almost like sneaker culture. Here are some of our best recommendations for playing cards. 
Let's start with standard playing cards, which are inexpensive, really easy to find, and just about anybody will enjoy and get a lot of mileage out of. Our top three choices here are Bicycle Rider Backs, Tally Ho Circle Backs, and Cardamundi Copag 310s. Now let's take it a step further and talk about specialty playing cards. These are cards that have a unique design, are of a higher quality, and are only usually available during a limited period of time. A lot of this is gonna come down to personal preference, so some of our favorites in this category are Split Spades, Monarchs, Firsts, Knocks, Orbits, and Mints. Now, while all the cards we've mentioned thus far could theoretically fit the bill for this next category, we want to present you with some ideas for cardistry-specific decks. Now, what is cardistry? Well, cardistry is a standalone art that involves flourishing playing cards, and cardists have their own criteria for what they consider to be a desirable deck of cards. Some really good options here that you can't go wrong with are Fontaines, Virtuosos, and really just about anything from the Gemini Playing Card Company. For this last set of cards, we're going to focus on decks that are out of print and in demand. These are extremely valuable and quite hard to find. B wins and Dan and Dave's Smoke and Mirrors are great picks for this section. The Cherry on Top, 1970s print run of Jerry's Nuggets. Now these cards are extremely valuable, fetching prices of near $500 per deck. Now fortunately, in 2019, they were reprinted at a much more affordable price point with modern stock, but the classic look and feel. Just be aware of which one you're buying before making a purchase. There are also a bunch of props, refills, and utility items that just about every magician is going to end up using at one point or another. So if the person you have in mind uses any of the items on this rapid fire list, these can make great stocking stuffers that they'll get a lot of mileage out of. These are things like sponge balls, silver dollars, flash paper, specialty rubber bands, loops, magician's rope, and magician's wax. To close out this gift guide, let's step away from items that help you learn or perform magic and instead look at some meaningful display items and collector's pieces. Our first item is really outside the realm of magic and that would be a cassette display. Now this is going to be a little weird for a lot of you, but cassette displays are actually the perfect size to fit playing cards in. So getting someone that collects playing cards at cassette display would be an excellent way to let them show off their collection. Another great option would be the card clip. This is a case for playing cards meant to protect them across climates. Additionally, you can also buy a Dan and Dave Magic Surface. This is an incredibly high-end close-up pad for performing sleight of hand. Now, if this is outside of your budget, which is perfectly understandable, uh, you can also pick up just a standard close-up pad to achieve a similar effect. These last few items don't serve much of a practical purpose, but more of a decorative one. You can pick up a hardcover copy of The Expert at the Card Table, a classic book in sleight of hand and card magic. Alternatively, you can also grab someone a uncut sheet of playing cards, typically from one of the specialty decks so they can display it on their wall. And, and lastly, a really great gift to put on a desk would be a deck in a bottle, which is an impossible object where a playing card is inside of a bottle. And with that, our 2020 Magic Holiday Gift Guide is concluded. We know that it can be kind of a daunting task if you're not into magic to figure out what to get somebody who is. And even though this has been a long list, we hope it gave you some helpful information and ideas for finding a special gift for someone in your life who's enthusiastic about magic. And as a reminder, down in the description below, we've linked a Google Sheet with all the products that we've talked about, along with a reputable magic dealer where you can find each one. And just to be clear, we're not being sponsored by any of the companies linked. We put this list together solely for your benefit. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments. Thanks so much for sticking around. And happy holidays.